and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, it is one of my classic monthly videos and it is a good dosing of Primark haul. Um, I know it's a bit earlier than normal. Obviously because I'm full time now, I just happened to shoal into Primark on, I was going to say my day off, but it's not really a day off because I do do work, it's just that I don't have a set nine to five now, it's just like whatever goes, you get your work done and then you can sort of do what you want, which is so good, like I absolutely love it, I'm so happy, it's like the happiest I've been in such a long time and yeah, really good place at the moment. But anyway, before I ramble too much, yeah, I got another Primark haul, um, yeah, it's getting a bit of an expensive habit to be honest with you. But yeah, I did stroll in there again. There was a few new bits that I loved and I just had to get. So yeah, I picked them up. But I must say though, like it hasn't even been that cold yet. There's so many jumpers and coats and everything around. I feel like it's still a good 16, 17, 18 degrees outside. It's not even like in the single figures yet. So yeah, I'm sort of thinking, well, when I go outside, I'm not even that cold, you know what I mean? Um, excuse the fact I've got a big coat on today. I'm a little bit chilly to be honest with you. Um, and it's just all part of the outfit. As well. Just a quick thing on what I am wearing because I do have a discount code and I know we're all big lovers of discount codes. I have actually got a PLT, Pretty Little Thing haul, coming your way very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But in the meantime, this top is PLT and you can get 20% off with my unique discount code, which I will pop on the screen for you now because I know we all love a bit of discount. So, yeah. There you go, check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get on with the haul now before I make this intro any longer than what it already is. So let's go. So the first thing I picked up, which is what I'm actually wearing, is this black fluffy um, coat. And I've been looking for a black fluffy jacket because every year I like to have a sort of black faux fur coat in my life because they are so incredibly warm and I always think they look very like sleek and stylish, very fashion forward. Um, you either love them or you hate them I think. And they had quite a few different variations in Primark. Some of them I found a little bit cheap and tack. Like, I don't know, I think you have to be very careful with these sort of like faux furry coats because some of them they don't look expensive like I'm not saying that this one looks expensive but you get what I mean like some can look on the borderline of cheap and nasty whereas this one I just like the fur on it uh, well the faux fur I just think it's very much like more of like an expensive faux fur than like a cheapy faux fur look to it and also like the collar on it was a lot toned down than the other one that I picked up originally um yeah I just really really like this it's a nice length and obviously you know me, I just like whack these over my shoulders and style it like that. Um, but obviously I will wear it properly. It's a really nice coat and it's also got pockets which I really do like. I always like a little pocket on my coat. Just for your reference, I picked this up in a size 6. It all sort of looks a bit oversized -y. Like, I don't know, normally I'd probably get an 8 or a 10 in a coat. But I don't know, I found they looked a little bit big so I did get is six. Um, it was £30 as well, so I don't think it's really that bad price considering something like this on, I don't know, your other websites and online shops would be like £60, £70. Um, so yeah, very decently priced and I really do like this because like I said, it just feels really nice quality. The second thing I got was this oversized jumper dress, which is all stuck in my bag. Uh, yeah, the second thing I picked up was this oversized grey jumper dress. So it's just in a ribbed fabric, it's a really nice soft knit woolly rib um yeah that was a bit of a mouthful wasn't it um yeah it's a really nice fabric it's really soft it's not like that itchy fabric and um, they've turned back the sleeves which i really like obviously they're not stitched back so you don't have to wear them like that um but yeah it's quite oversized it is a size small which they've said is a six to eight and it was only 13 pound and um, yeah, I really, really like this. I believe they had it in burgundy as well, if you like a burgundy fan. Um, but I love a good oversized jumper dress in the autumn, winter months. This teamed with like a nice little pair of boots would look absolutely stunning. So I really, really like that. The next thing I picked up was very bright and it is this orange jumper. Um, as you do know, I admittedly do love black, grey, white. They're like the main colours in my wardrobe, but I have been getting into adding pops and chunks of colour into my wardrobe and the main sort of colours I've been tending to go for lately have been red, um, but this orange one really caught my eye and I love the detailing on the back as well. I just really liked that, I just thought that was something a little bit different. 
Um, and yeah, I just started to sort of knit a bit as well, if you can see. I'll just show you that up close. Just thought this teamed with the right thing could look really nice. Um, even just with like a black pair of jeans and like a nice pair of boots, it will look really stylish. Um, so yeah, it's just a way of incorporating a bit of colour into your wardrobe if you are like me and normally play it safe. Um, it was only £13 and like I said, it was a 6 to 8 and it was also seen in glamour. I love that little love that little thing they've been adding to it. It's really cute. So yeah, I picked up that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was actually for, from, for, for, from the kids section. And me and my friend Danielle, when we were shopping in Primark, we both seen this and we were like, oh my god, that's the most sweetest, cutest thing ever. And it's a Christmas jumper and it says Jingle Bells on. I know I'm getting quite ahead, but I'm not really getting quite ahead because it's November next week. So that's only like, oh my god, two weeks till Christmas? Oh, the phone's going. Two weeks, I'm not two weeks, I'm only about two months, which that will fly by. So you best to start stocking up on your Christmas jumpers early because I always find that they do sell out very quickly. And then it comes to like, I don't know, a few weeks before I've got like a Christmas thing that I need a Christmas jumper for and I can never find a decent one. So yeah, I see this and I thought, right, I'm going to actually get it early because I do like it. Um, not that I have any occasions where I wear Christmas jumpers too, but me and Danielle have decided we're going to have... A Christmas dinner like we're gonna have one day before Christmas in December where we're gonna go out for a nice Christmas dinner lunch and wear our Christmas jumpers so we have actually made an occasion so we can wear this Christmas jumper we both got matching ones so it's gonna be super cute I'll make sure to get a picture this was only £10 I got it in 11 to 12 because obviously I, yeah it's quite big I don't, you know, I just, I don't get where these sizings come from because they're just so big. Like, I was going to get the 12 to 13 and I put it up against me and it literally drowned me. So, yeah, I really like this. I'll just show you a little up close. It's got, like, this sequin um, on it as well. They did have it in white, but they have that in the slightly smaller sizes, so that's why I got the pink. But, yeah, I really, really like this Christmas jumper. Okay, so the next thing is sticking to my roots black jumper and um, you can never go wrong with a good old black oversized jumper and it definitely is oversized because it, they didn't have any other sizes except this and I really liked it so I was like I'm just gonna get it and um, so it's in a size 10 to 12 it was 13 pound and it is this black ribbed oversized jumper with like a v-neck and then I don't know if you can see this but it's like lace detailing here which I just thought was really cute and slightly different and I wanted like a really big oversized black jumper just a team with like black jeans showing you know them like wanting an all black sleek outfit um, and yeah I just thought this one would really do the job I just again like the feel of it it's a nice fabric and yeah there's nothing more to say really so I really like that so the next couple of tops I picked up are actually the same but in different colours and I just wanted some basics I feel that my wardrobe actually does suffer with a lack of basics do you know just when you want to just shove like a basic tee on with something a little bit more daring I don't actually have that um, so I wanted some winter appropriate ones so I just literally got these ribbed long sleeved basic tops so as you can see it was a grey one they were only Six pan. I got them in a size six. So this is a grey mole one. Um, so yeah, it's just a long sleeve top. But I just thought like this would just look so nice, just with like a light wash of denim jeans and a belt. Just really simple outfit, but yet yeah, quite effective and stylish. So yeah, I got a bl that's not black. That's grey. I got a grey one, and then I got a black. Wait, is that one different? Oh, this isn't the one I wanted. I'm gonna have to take this one back. They were so close to the high neck ones and I literally hate high neck things on me, like, I don't know, I can take them in small doses and I'll dabble in them when it's like really cold, but in general, I don't like really high neck things and this was obviously, it's obviously got mixed up with the low neck and high neck because this was supposed to be the same and it's actually not the same. Um, so yeah, that's the black one, but obviously needs to change that. Next thing I got was just a little pyjama set. They're not like really thick pyjamas, they're just quite thin. Just says um, living for the weekend, but until then let's sleep. Um, yeah, so it just got this print on, nice and cute, um, just in this pink colour. And then to go with them, you've got these little grey bottoms, stripy bottoms, which I just thought was really cute. And they've got like a satin stripe down the side. And they've got the little pink bow and also some little pink buttons, which are really cute. Um, so yeah, it's quite a fitted pyjama set, actually. They're quite fitted, the buttons are. So if you don't like your pyjamas to be super fitted, then maybe size up. Because I got this in a small and it was six to eight. But I don't know, they are super comfy, so it doesn't bother me at all. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this little pyjama set. It was only £10, so just wanted some nice, fresh pyjamas. And I think these are, like, really girly ones. 
So I grabbed those. Okay. Okay. So be ready for this. I know what you're seeing already and you're thinking a denim jacket, like it's a bit out of season maybe to have a denim jacket. Well, I don't think it is because you can always rock denim and I always rock denim. Like even in these months now, I still drape a denim jacket over my shoulders if I'm wearing the right thing and I want to wear a denim jacket. I own a few denim jackets, but I don't own like a mid-wash denim jacket. So anyway, I seen this denim jacket and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Like I just picked it up, do you know, just like when you see something, you're like, oh, that's quite cute. Then I seen the price. It was straight in my basket. I'm not even joking you, straight in my basket. Three pound. Three pound, three pound for this denim jacket. Can you even quite believe that? Like I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. Um, what am I going on about? Oh, I'm going on in such a little rant about this denim jacket. But honestly, I just couldn't believe this was three pound. Like I probably wouldn't have got it if it was like 20, 25 pound or something because I'd have been like, mm, don't need it. But when I seen it was three pound, I was like, well, I'm definitely not gonna say no to that. It's a long one, which I don't actually own. And it's a mid wash, so I just could fully justify it. And even if I couldn't have justified it, I think I'd still got it for three pound. <laughs> and yeah, I got it in a size four, but there was actually only one left. So I didn't really have any option, but it's quite oversized anyway as you can see and yeah that is literally my bargain of the year so go and have a look in Primark because they've got so many reductions on on the jacket sections at the moment there was like a um, military jacket like a camo print one that I really wanted but they only had 14s and that was a little bit too oversized for me I also definitely got that as well um but yeah really really like that so got that Okay, so now we're moving on to bits and bobs so the next thing I picked up was a duvet set because you guys know, I'm a big lover of fake tan. My sheets get, I, I literally have to change my sheets like twice a week because obviously I fake tan probably twice a week. So when I do fake tan, my sheets are literally just covered in orange. Not to mention that when I'm just doing my fake tan, I end up getting fake tan on my bed sheets and obviously the white, it's just not a good combination. So I very often have to treat myself to new bed sheets. And I don't obviously want anything that's like off the wall, off the wall, off, is that the saying? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't want anything too expensive because I have to be, have to upkeep this. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I looked in the Primark home section. They do some beautiful home bits, by the way. And I got this duvet cover set and it's called Paisley Embroidery. So it's just a white um, bedspread, but it's got this like Paisley embroidery detail here. If you can see that, if it's showing up on camera. It's so, so pretty. It was so funny, actually, because I sort of seen this when I was looking and they only had a king size. So I thought, oh, that's annoying. They haven't got any. And then Danielle was like looking for a double, a double, a double? Danielle was looking for a duvet set as well. She was like, oh, I've seen this well, nice one, but they just don't have any singles because she's obviously only got a little single bless, bed blesser. Um, and I was like, oh my God, that's the one I wanted, like, but they haven't got a double. Anyway, we were searching the whole homeware section, like going behind things and we found them. We found them, they was all hid. Um, so yeah, she got one as well. But yeah, really, really like this. And it was only £25, which I don't think is too bad for a duvet set where you get the cover and two pillowcases. So I grabbed that. The next thing I picked up was a Fig Blossom scented candle. Now, I don't normally get like rosy gold stuff just because I have silver and black normally in my room. But this candle smells incredible. Oh. It just smells insane. Honestly, go and smell this fig blossom candle if you're in Primark. It was only three pound and it is so, oh, it just smells so beautiful. So definitely smell that. So I got that. Looking at all the um, stationary bits and bobs, cause I always like just to have a look. Cause I find that Primark do really affordable and pretty stationary. And I've seen this 2018 journal, just why? And it's got like rose gold on, it says 365 2018 journal. Um, and I just wanted something just so I can make notes of like what events I've got on one week and what I'm doing and stuff, just so I can sort of keep track and organize my life. Um, but actually inside it doesn't even say the um, months and stuff. So I thought, oh, that's great because I can actually start using it now um, and just write my own dates on. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty inside as well. And this was only three pound. So I thought, yeah, why not get that? The last thing I picked up from Primark was, I actually did buy two pairs of these, but I am wearing them right now. So if you're wanting to know what lashes I've got on, they are the 113 Whispers. And I don't normally, I'm not a massive fan of Ardell lashes. Like they're all right, um, but, oh, sorry about that. I'm just not the biggest, biggest fan. But anyway, these ones, 113 are just faves. I'm obsessed with them. So this is what they look like. 
they are just these really long, beautiful, wispy lashes. So if you like the normal wispies, which I do actually like, but they're just really, really natural, aren't they? Well, if you like them, but you want to be a bit more glam, you'll absolutely love these. Like, they're just incredible. They're so, so long and wispy and just more glam than the normal wispies. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I absolutely love these. I'm not too sure how much they are because every time I go, they always have to go and key something in because they don't know how much they are. Let me have a look. Oh, they're four pound each. They're not actually that cheap. Well, they are cheap, but you know, compared to like the one pound lashes in Primark. But they are totally worth it. Let me try them out if you're a big fan of long, wispy glam lashes. If you can find them, that is, because I don't always see these. So when I do, I always grab a few pairs. So yeah, I got that. Yeah, that is absolutely everything I picked up from Primark this month. When I say this month, it's going to be like an October slash November. No doubt I'll be doing another one in November because this Primark haul has come so early. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos. All my social media links will be linked below as per usual. And yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye bye!